Alright guys, we're back with another one. And this is the Samsung Chromebook 3 versus the $150 Point 2 Chromebook. Alright, so let's get right into it. So this is the Samsung Chromebook and I'm telling you guys, this is a gorgeous Chromebook. I just like the black material on it. I like the fact that it's grippy. Samsung Chromebook, prominent. Chrome logo, prominent. I like that. Because when I'm in a coffee shop, I want people to know what I'm using. And normally people come up to me and say, how are those Chromebooks? And I tell them, they're excellent, man. This is all I use. Everything that I use to edit and everything is done through my Chrome devices, blah, blah, blah. So it's a little bit more smoother at the bottom, but it still has some grip. Four feet going all around, speakers at the corner towards the front. And let, let me just say, this is a nice, well-designed Chromebook. Got a little heft to it, but it feels strong. It feels like a real sturdy Chromebook. Now, when it comes to the Point Chromebook, you got that same grippy material, but not as grippy as the uh, Sam's, Samsung's lid, but it's just as nice. You got the Point logo right there, the P, and you have the Chrome logo right there, prominent, feeling good. So, the bottom is a little bit more slick, but still it has some grip. Four feet going all around, speakers in the front corner there, and they're pretty good. So. And comes to the body and the structure of both of these Chromebooks. I got to give it a wash. The only thing I might say that aesthetically, the Samsung looks a little bit better and has a little bit more grip. So I guess in a way I can give it to the Samsung. Now, when it comes, when you open the lid of both of these devices, you are greeted by some pretty good um, internals with the screen and everything. Not bad at all. So, let's get right into this. Now, let's just get into the cameras. The cameras are a total wash. Both of these cameras are, I would say, above VGA, and both of these cameras are not bad at all. I really can't tell the difference between the two front-facing cameras, but all I know, they're not HD, but they're not VGA. They're a little bit above they're a little bit in the middle. They're in the middle of those two ranges. Not bad, but they're the typical uh, 480p type webcams that you're normally accustomed to. Now, let's take takes us to the screen. The screen on both of these are pretty similar, but I feel because of the IPS, the more glossier screen on the Point 2 Chromebook. I think the Point 2 Chromebook might have a little bit of a better screen. Now, they both look really good, good color representation. They both look good. Now, the only thing I might say for a matte screen that the Samsung has, I honestly must say it has a very good color representation also. So when it comes to the screens, it's almost a wash, but I just feel it looks a little bit better on the Point 2 Chromebook. So when it goes to the screen, I, I got to give it to the $150 Chromebook, man. But it's not by much. Definitely not by much. Very interesting. So when it comes to the look of both devices, yeah, the Samsung with this little bit of a uh, sticker, grippy sticker area that they have here, it makes it look very nice. Very good looking Chromebook the Samsung is. Um, but this Point 2 is still a nice looking Chromebook as well. Now, when it comes to the keyboard, when it comes to the keyboard, the Point Chromebook have a very nice keyboard very nice nice and clicky and tappy it has a nice bounce back the point two Chromebook got a very good keyboard but the Samsung Chromebook 
is a little bit more unless you unless you're the type of person who wants to slam it, it the Samsung Chromebook is a little bit more of a quieter keyboard it has a nice jump back as well it just feels good but we only can say one is better and I definitely can tell you that the Samsung Chromebook keyboard is better than the point two and we would expect that because the Samsung Chromebook does cost more now both screens look absolutely awesome in this particular picture I'm leaning more towards the Samsung screen so very very nice color representation on both screens but in this particular picture the Samsung own looks a little bit better so I'm kind of in a wash between the two screens but with the keyboard I know for sure I've used them both the Samsung keyboard is very good now when it comes to the trackpads now the trackpad on the point two Chromebook has a little bit more roughness that I like I like the way it feels and on the Samsung Chromebook it's a little bit more like it's making you almost feel it's a glass trackpad and no it's not a glass trackpad but it's a very very smooth trackpad and I like the way it feels so both of them had a great feel now when it comes to the responsiveness of when you're just tapping they both feel the point very two is good. a little bit more tighter so your tapping is gonna feel a little bit more better than the Samsung's but the Samsung own is tight too but it's a harder click on the point two so if you're the type of person that like to click you're gonna definitely like the Samsung own for clicking better you might miss a click when it comes to the point two because you have to press it also harder than the Samsung so when it comes to the trackpad I gotta give it to Samsung I like this the trackpad on the Samsung but on the point two it's a very very good trackpad right behind the Samsung I just think the Samsung own is a little bit more polished now the way both of them feel they both feel good on the sides where you might rest your palm depending on the situation they both feel good aesthetically they're both good looking Chromebooks where they differ by far is the processor Samsung has gone with the um, Intel processor I think it's 3050 or something like that is the Intel Celeron it's a more advanced version um, is, is the newest version I should say with four gigs of RAM this is a very very powerful Chromebook in the range of a, a Celeron this this is running now I felt a couple of hesitations a couple of slowdowns but it is a faster processor than this rock chip processor on the point two with two gigs of RAM the RAM makes a big difference if this Chromebook had four gigs of RAM it would run a little bit better a little bit smoother but I felt a lot of hesitations with this rock chip processor um, I'm becoming a little bit more noticeable of the issues with the slowdowns and so forth but may I say it's a nice Chromebook for the price keyboard feels great trackpad great but the processor with the two gigs of RAM is lacking you get the slowdowns you feel it when you're really running and you're working heavy there is still a little bit of slowdown when it comes to both of these devices but you're gonna definitely feel the difference with the point two if especially if you're used to a faster processor so pretty much with that the only thing left is to go into the sound Fortunately, the scar tissue traps plaque and white blood cells which can form into blockages this Plaques is the point two weakened arteries now let's go into the Samsung All right, let's stop that right there. Over time, if the force you can hear the difference. You can definitely hear the difference.
you might get a more quality sound with the Samsung Chromebook, but it's a little bit too quiet. The Samsung Chromebook is a little bit too quiet, even though you're getting the more quality, but the Point 2 got the louder sound. So in this, for me, I would take the louder sound over the better quality because it's just too low. You need more sound. Now, when it comes to battery life with these two Chromebooks, I'm very impressed. There is no more four hours of battery life with Chromebooks no more. It is in the range of six, seven, eight hours. Samsung is saying 11 hours of battery life. And I must say they're a little bit off with my usage. My usage is very mixed with video and stuff like that. So, for me, you can eke out about a good seven on the regular, maybe definitely eight hours you can get on the Samsung Chromebook. And with the Point Chromebook, I would say you can eke out six hours on the regular. That's pretty much what I've got every time in my usage, about six hours of usage, which is Point count, um, says eight and a half hours of battery life. Maybe they have the settings real low, but in some areas you have to have the settings pretty high on the point because the screen is not that legible. Even on point on site, it's pretty hard to make out the lettering, so you have to have the brightness at a nice comfortable level. So for me, battery life on the point 2 is about 6 hours, so in this particular scenario of battery life, Samsung definitely wins. So pretty much guys to sum this up when you're talking about getting a Chromebook for $230 and that's how much you pay for this Samsung Chromebook with 4 gigs of RAM and an Intel processor versus getting the Point 2 Chromebook with only 2 gigs of RAM the choice is is right there plain in your face you're gonna want the one with the faster processor and four gigs of RAM you know but there is so many similarities so many closeness between these two Chromebooks for a two for a hundred and fifty dollar Chromebook this is a definite buy if you want to stay in that price range and you really don't want to spend an extra uh, eighty dollars then you might just want to get the Point 2 Chromebook because it is really that good. But if you do want the extra power, you need those extra 2 gigs of RAM, you definitely want to get this Samsung Chromebook. So in this comparison, there is no doubt Samsung wins. We'll see you in the next one.